Hey, man. Uh, it was nice meeting with you yesterday, as always. Really, really driving well. Um, everything we're going to talk about here, and there's only going to be two main points and two, well, three points. Two of them are very, very minor. Uh, one is a slight line change, but your driving foundations are great. Uh, now it's about kind of a little bit more on the entry speed side of things, focusing more in on that, which is kind of a, a more difficult conversation. And one that is a little bit harder to tell on video, but I went out and watched some other videos on Spec Miatas and kind of looked at what some of the top, top guys are doing. And I think you're right there with them. This is just a couple things that I'm looking at. So watching the whole video, I see you sliding the car a lot. The car controls there. The one corner where I never saw you kind of make a mistake or induce a little bit of a slide was up through turn two. And I've kind of got a, a weird theory or the way I like to coach and teach is actually, especially while we're learning, I actually want to see small, what I call intelligent mistakes, where we're experimenting with the level of grip that we've got. So turn two, through here right now, if I play at full speed, really nice up through one, we're breaking just before here, our line's great, our initial throttle application's great, everything looks really good. But it looks almost too neat, too perfect. I think we can roll a little bit more entry speed here um, and, and push the limits a little bit. So when, at the pro level, what, the reason why pros are, are so consistent and uh, really adapting to the level of grip the track provides so well is because they're always making small experiments. And really what the goal is and what I'm trying to achieve is once I've figured out how I want to execute the exit of the corner, so I know where I need to apex, I know where I need to pick up the throttle, I know where I can place the car and exit, and I know how aggressive the throttle I can be. My next goal here is what I want to do is every lap, you know, have a decent break zone. I think your initial break zone's in a good spot. Maybe we can work it a little bit deeper. That's the last thing we want to work on. The next goal for me here is every lap, I want to roll just a little bit more speed, just a little bit more speed until I start either missing the apex, not being able to apply the throttle where I wanted to. And if you are able to achieve just a little bit more every lap, the mistakes that are going to come from that are going to be small mistakes. You'll be like, ah, damn, I just missed it that lap. And now you know where the limit is and you can bring it back just a little bit. But here's the key is once you've done that, you, you aren't just going to keep it there every three, four, five laps, you want to, again, try to roll just a little bit more in and see if, the, see if you can make it work this way. And that's how you start to adjust to the level of grip the track has. So ultimately through turn two here, we're just too consistently perfect. There was never a little bit of a slide. There was never any moment. You were never too late to throttle. So it just means to me, hey, there's probably a little bit more available here. And again, we're always going to be talking about very small margins with you now because you're close to the limit. So I want you trying to work on a mile an hour more, a mile an hour more until you just miss it a little bit and then break it back in. And then the mistakes are going to be very minor. So they're going to be a half a tenth. They're not going to cost you much but you're going to be closer to the limit. You're going to know you're at the limit and you'll be able to adjust better um, and find that you'll be able to find it faster as well uh, everywhere else around the track. So I think it's a good place to practice that a little bit more. The next thing for me, again, entry speed where we look almost too perfect is up through 3-3A. Now, I know you were talking yesterday that you feel like this is where you lose a good amount because um, the horsepower lets you nearly flat through here. What I would like to see in how do I want to describe this? I do want to see you all the way to the left or close to the left here. But what I would like to see here is, especially when you're dealing with less horsepower, I, I think we can roll again more entry speed up the hill here. There's a little bit of a lift. If I turn the volume on, let's play this full speed. So just a small lift here. Not even a full lift, you know, you're, you're down to 10, 20% throttle, it sounds like, and you're starting to apply it here. What I would like to say is, I would like to see you experiment with carrying full throttle longer into the corner. Now, I know you mentioned that you eventually probably got this to be full throttle, but you know it shouldn't be. So this is probably more of a coaching tip for once you get, you know, more horsepower again, is I'd like to see you focus on 
carrying full throttle longer, maybe a, a more of a lift, maybe down to 0% of uh, throttle just to get that weight transfer. The key for me here is I would like to see you, you're, you're too perfectly to the left here. It's too calculated. I would like to see you let the car be a tiny bit more free through here. Focus more on bringing more entry speed in and maybe being, you know, a tire width off the inside. It's when you're too perfect, I know you've overslowed a little bit. So if you could just be a tire width off the inside, you still have time to work it a little bit back to the left before coming back to the right. Um, and that'll allow you to bring in more entry speed. The next point for me here is if I turn the volume back on, let's listen here. I think you're full throttle through 3A. Nearly full throttle. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny little adjustment on throttle. It's not even a lift. It's an adjustment on throttle um, right here. What I would li like to see is if you – same as we wanted to experiment in turn two with until we start to make a mistake. What I'd like to see is I'd like to see you be a little bit more to the right and then turn in and experiment. See, at what point can you – if you are – a half a tire width off the left, can you still execute everything the same through 3A, but that allows you to bring in more speed at the bottom of the hill and continue to be a little bit more right, a little bit more right until you can no longer execute, until you're, you're um, sacrificing speed over the top of the hill. And then you know where the limit is, how, how far right you can be without sacrificing. And that'll allow you to start bringing more and more speed up the hill, which is what I want to see um, down into the corner really bring in more entry speed because especially when you're down a horsepower, entry speed's everything, uh, momentum. So again, we're, talk we're talking about very small margins, little, little things here um, that are starting to play out. The next one is you're actually driving how I told you to. And now that I'm watching you're driving more and more, I want to make a small adjustment here going into six. I would actually like to, I think, ultimately, I do think that the line you're driving right now is the best. But it seems to me that because you're more to the inside, you're not allowing yourself to bring in more entry speed down the hill. So as we're talking about experimenting, as I'm learning how you like to drive, I want to suggest letting the car be free out of five, but work it now. Let's try again going back further to the right. I don't necessarily mean all the way back to right, but further to the right so that as you crest this hill, you have less tight of a corner. The left-hander is now going to be, if you're coming in from the outside, the radius of the corner is going to open up. Ultimately, what I'm trying to experiment with is trying to help you roll more entry speed down the hill. I think we oversaw a little bit here, and then or waiting, waiting, waiting too long. If we adjust open more to the right on entry, I think the car will be a little bit more straight and that'll allow you to feel more comfortable bringing more speed in down the hill. I still want you to end up about where you are right now, but we just overslow the entry. So that's a small adjustment that I think it might be more driver specific to you that'll help that uh, than necessarily uh, overall line improvements for everybody. Um, turn seven, really nice improvement. Turn 11, you look fantastic. Through the S's, you look great. I mean, there's there's really not much to, to really work on line wise driving foundation wise you have a really nice control of the throttle uh so i'm really happy with the step we've made forward and some of this is probably game planning for once you have more horsepower uh and, and now starting to play with those last few tents i'm getting to the limit of the car and getting more comfortable with that as well um so hopefully this helps hopefully this makes sense as always Call me if you have any questions. Email me if you have any questions. You know I'm always here for you, and hopefully we can continue to help you improve.